Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built them themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Murph. Welcome back to the Kit Hoarder Stash. Today, well, I've got kind of a fun one. And I got this for, um, I think for all the accessories in it. So this is called the Little Gypsy Wagon. And it's a re-release by round two of the old AMT Gypsy Wagon. Ah, uh, Let's open this up and take a look at it because there's some really cool stuff in here. First off, we're going to look at the side of the box. Looks like you got a campfire and you got a flower and uh you know a few other items and there's a look at the back end so yeah let's cut this open and let's get going on shall we see what there is ah. put that back there with the zephyr Okay, ooh, lots of chrome. Let's take a look at what the what the chrome fairy brought us. Those are neat. I don't know what they are. They're kind of an L-shaped thing, but they look pretty neat. Um, some kind of a tank here, shocks, some scroll work. Looks like a lantern. Uh, wheelie bars of some sort. Just some really interesting looking parts, I'll tell you. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. Uh, your spoke rims. Looks like we got a Hemi in here. Holy cow. <laughs> so we have a, a metal axle. But let's look at these tires. These tires look pretty cool. So I remember building one very similar to this. They made a lot of these types of things back in the old days. And I remember those old hard plastic tires, and these are not it. These are definitely two-piece tires, for sure, and they're plastic. But uh, nomadic tread works. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's got... Uh, comes with markings already on it that's pretty neat and yeah these go together it's kind of they kind of like they're a, a vinyl type tire so this will be interesting and it doesn't look like they go together real well so that's going to be a that's going to be a challenge for sure and a couple of small fronts big metal axle Oh, cool. Looks like we've got some... Oh, neat. In the clear part department. Looks like we got some options here. Ugh. Damn plastic trees. Uh, fire. We have fire for the campfire. We have flames for the campfire. Looks like we have optional blue or clear windows. And I'm wondering if that's maybe a crystal ball. I don't know, but that looks interesting. Uh, now for the plastic. The white plastic. Damn it. Flies all over the freaking place here. Holy cow. Sorry, hang on. Knocked my whole dang light down here with uh, trying to get that stupid fly. Oh, I hate flies. Okay. So the sides of the covered wagon looks, look like we got a shovel here and the bench seat, which is a real bench. Um, some kind of a trunk, it looks like. Some more scroll work. A little flower. That's pretty neat. 
but I'm looking at the um, shingles there. They look pretty. They look pretty detailed. Uh, rest of the wagon looks like we've got a violin or something and a jug. Ooh, wonder what's in the jug. Uh, okay. Uh, some five-spoke rims that we'll be painting. Interesting. And looks like here we got an engine. Uh, <laughs> looks like a seat cushion here. Shifter, some more scroll work, a big heavy-duty rear end. Um, looks like a keg gas tank or something. Uh, your Hemi engine. And steering wheel. And that's all the plastic. Oh look, you got one of these little boxes that you can fold and, and make. That's kind of a neat little thing. I've got a couple of those. Alrighty. Let's look at the destructions. Oh, so look, we got injectors with a big old um, air intake. Those L-shaped chrome things look like they're the exhaust. Big old chrome front fork here. Wow, interesting frame. Yeah, you got a, uh, looks like you got a bottle in that orange. I didn't see that. Um, yep, got a crystal ball. You know what? I don't think I got an orange tint. I, oh, there it is, right here. There's the bottle. Um, so yeah, the crystal ball is either clear or green. We've got a pot, the fire, the barrel, the violin, a pillow, and a shovel. That's all pretty neat. And then to finish it up, you've got the bed and the uh, and the top. So looks like a skull shifter. That's kind of cool too. So some yeah, some really cool stuff in this in this little kit. I am anxious to get started on it. Um, looks like it'll be probably a weekend build. Maybe, uh, maybe just a little bit longer. We'll see. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Check out those decals. A lot of cool decals on there. So I'm going to take all of the uh, white plastic and I'm going to go ahead and spray it with my Rust-Oleum 2X Flat Red Primer because I'm going to be using a lot of browns and I think I'm going to paint the uh, body green. So this will be absolutely perfect for what I'm doing. So as far as the body, I decided to use this Competition Green. It's a tester's uh, model master spray, uh, like a 1970 Ford color. And I sprayed the, the body with that. Turned out pretty darn good. Took some Tamiya um, Aircraft Aluminum and sprayed some of the uh, parts that I wanted uh, silver in this thing. And then for the engine, well, I took a fluorescent red orange in a uh, bottle that I had from testers. I went ahead and sprayed the engine. Kind of looks like Hemi orange, uh, but it's going to glow in the dark, which is going to be really cool. Uh, went ahead and put the tires and wheels together, got the rear end together. Went ahead and painted the frame uh, a semi-gloss black, and I kept the uh, um, rear end cover chrome. Here's the barrel. I went ahead and built it and painted it with, uh, went over it with Larry's Bathwater. And here's a link if you want to know what Larry's Bathwater is. It's a pin wash that I use on everything. Uh, the roof. This is the red oxide primer. And you can see I just slathered it with some of Larry's Bathwater. And once it dried, uh, it filled in all those cracks and crevices and looked great. <clears throat> and here you go. Here's what Larry's Bathwater looks like uh, there on the back. And I've gone ahead and uh, painted the uh, uh, the hinges already. Now for all the wood, I'm going to give it a, once Larry's bath water is dry, I'm going to give it a nice dry brush of this shadow tint that I have for Model Master. It's a skin tone. And you can see here, I've used it on the, uh, on the bench in the interior, and it really brings that wood grain out. It really makes it pop. So I used it there and throughout the interior tub, and here it is. Um, I've done half of the top and you can see the half, uh, the right half, how it really, really makes that wood grain pop. Here's the interior with uh, steering wheel and shifter and all that stuff in. I went ahead and 
did the non-skull because I'm going to save that for something else. Here's the engine. Very rudimentary engine. I was not impressed with that. Um, and here we're putting the chassis together. Uh, did some detail painting here and for the uh, light. The tail light, if you will, uh, the hanging lantern. I just took that chrome and I just went over it with uh, some Tester's Stoplight Red. I think it looks absolutely awesome there for a, quote, tail light. Um, and then just did some uh, red on the uh, on the shutters and gave them a little bit of Larry's bath water. So here's what the top looks like, all dry brushed and with Larry's bath water. I went ahead and put the uh, uh, top in it, the vent there, and I didn't weather that vent at all. All right, folks, let's take a quick look at this uh, POS before uh, I throw it against the wall. Uh, this kit, yeah, you know what? The really cool uh, components that come with it, uh, they are neat. And that's what really drew me into it. And, you know, I like the, the choppers and whatnot, although this isn't really a, a chopper, but it kind of has that look. And I thought it would be fun. But I got to tell you, you know, putting these, putting these tires together, trying different glues because it wouldn't hold, and finally having to go with super glue, and uh, yeah. Um, there's a lot of chrome here, and you're going to be scraping a lot of the chrome off to get parts to fit and and hold and part of the problem is is that plastic underneath it's that orange metallic crap that it just it doesn't glue well okay period it just does not glue well so got some decals on the side here uh, there's the weathering that I did on the top I didn't do anything to the uh, to the vent uh, I just, I was so done with this thing, it wasn't even funny. Uh, there's the scroll work, uh, the uh, injectors, and the uh, in intake in there. Let's take a closer look at that. And again, this engine is so hokey. Uh, no radiator, uh, no water pump, uh, no transmission, it's direct drive. I mean, this thing, yeah, it's it's a show thing only, obviously. You'd... Well, there, you can't even start it up. There's no starter motor for it. So it's just, I don't know. Uh, I, I was uh, really suckered into this because it does look cool when it's built. But it is not a fun build. I'm just going to tell you that right now. We did not have fun with it whatsoever. But here's how it turned out. And, you know, if you... Uh, care to tempt fate and want to get one of these great for you um, I can tell you that uh, this has left a real sour taste for me uh, yeah um, I'm gonna go back and build a tank or something that you know just actually builds easy because man this thing was a this thing was a nightmare so yeah looks pretty good but that's that's all I can say for it so all right thanks for joining us folks